What's up everybody, Fish Hawk here. Today we're gonna to do some small mountain stream trout fishing. We'll be fishing for native brook trout and wild rainbow trout. I'm with my cousin Gabe. He has his fly rod and his tankara rod, and I have a small spinning rod. I'm gonna try and use his tankara rod or fly rod for a little bit and try and get the hang of it, but I'll mostly be using my spinning rod. I've never fly fished for trout before, but I wanna kinda of get the feel for it today. And then maybe next time I come back, I can fish exclusively with a fly rod. So the goal today is uh, try out the fly rod and the tinkar rod, or maybe just one of them, and get the feel for it, and of course, catch some trout. Stay tuned. Got him. Oh, he went through my net. Son of a gun. I knew I should have bought a different net. I'm gonna change to a squirmy wormy. Just had one on the spinner, got through my net. Um, but this is just too big for these uh, little native trout. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a, uh, a little squirmy wormy that my cousin tied. Go from this to this. Should improve the uh, hookup ratio pretty dramatically. Got rigged back up here. Got a little squirmy wormy on. I think, uh, I think our hookup ratio will be a lot better now. If I can get this one in the mouth. Fish on. That's a dang on creek chub. Big old creek chub. There he goes. Not really what I wanted to catch, but better than nothing, right? All right, let's go into a different spot. Fish on. Oh, it's a little rainbow. Now it's a little brook. First nice brook of the day. Smoked him on the first cast. There's gonna be more up through there, go ahead. Fish on. I'll try something different. What do you want me to try? Right, sure. Ten car or fly rod? I try this one first because it's already set up. Okay. Like, strip the line in. I could manage it. Like this. Yeah. yeah. First attempt at a fly rod. <laughs> sure. Oh, I just saw one. Got him! Yeah! You net him. Good job, Tyler. First trout on the fly rod, baby. Look at that little feller. Beautiful. Nice little brook. There he goes. Good job, man. Nice job. Thanks, man. First trout on the fly rod. That's, that's gonna feel good. Yeah. That was pretty cool.
Oh my god, I just lost a big one. Holy crap, I just saw I just saw a native trout take a moth off the surface of the water. Got him. That is the smallest brook trout. Beautiful. You know what that was on? Yep. <laughs> he hit that thing like 20 times until he got the hook. Another brookie. Brookie. Got him. No. I'm so happy to see so many healthy brook trout in here. Trout, trout in general. All right guys, I'm gonna show you what I did here. I was using this trout magnet hook with this uh, trout magnet. What I did is I switched out for an ice jig. Look how much smaller those hooks are. So I downsized and I also cut just a little bit off the tail of this trout magnet to shorten it up because I'm getting a lot of strikes they're hitting this tail and they're not getting the hook. And I think I'm gonna pair this up with this bobber so I can keep it at a good depth and I'm not uh, getting hung up on the bottom. Here's the setup I'm rocking with. I got a bobber, about a foot of uh, line, and then I have the ice jig with a trout magnet, soft plastic. Let's see if that does the trick. Got him, fish on. That worked like a charm. Tiny little brookie. Beautiful. Second cast with this uh, bobber set up with the ice jig and trout magnet combo. Threw right up there as far as I could throw. Right up in them ripples. Got him! Oh! That's a big one. Wow. Very beautiful. <laughs> there he is. Got him. On to the next hole. Got him.
Dude, this is one of the brightest ones I've seen. Yeah, he's really 